Welcome! I'm Christian from Vision 6D. Today we are going to look at how we add a share to our environment. In that environment, I have a server here which is SV1 and we want to add a share called Vision 6D. In that environment, we have an Active Directory, we have here a client which is client 8 and we are defined here as a user. In order to do that, I will now take control of SV1, the server. You go into the local server here and you look at file and storage services. We will go and look at our volumes and here you see that we have the possibility to have shares. In that specific case, you see that the role for file server is still not configured. This might happen, so just click on this and we'll start the proceeding to add the role. This is perfect file and it has these services, so we just say next and we can proceed with the installation. The installation has succeeded and we can close it. As you can see here, actually we have no shares on this server. So we'll go here simply into the task and we create a new share. We see that we can create shares of different kinds. Um, we can always go and click and read here the content of what is defined in that kind of shares. So I will say take here an SMV share, the quick method, and just go through it. It is now requesting from me on which server and which volume. This is just fine to, to have the volume defined like that. We select now type a custom pass. We go through browse. And of course you need to, to have already a folder that is defined here that you want to share. So I'm going to take the Vision 6D folder. I'm going to select it, select the folder. And now I can click next. So as you see, the remote pass to share will be SV1 Vision 6D and the share name will be Vision 6D. Next, allow caching of share is right fine. Next for the permissions, this is also the default that we'll leave as such. And now we can just create it. Now we are done and the share was successfully created. Now I switch to the client and we see here SV1 view from the client. So I double click on it and you see that I have here my folder. So I will open that folder. I had in the meantime created the test folder and I will now also create a second test folder. Now I go quickly from the server to check whether this is up. I have here the folder Vision 6D and as we can see I have test1 which is created here. We now switch back to SV1 and we are going to check what is there defined within the storage. So you see that we can take shares and you will see here that now the share is defined. There is also another way to create a share. For this you take the file explorer and here I want to share the folder which is called home folder. For that, I right click and I go to properties. Here I go to sharing, advanced sharing. I want to share this folder. The name is fine, it will be home folder. And I will go into permissions and I say everyone full control, which is fine for me. And I will say here apply. Why? Switching now to the client, I see SV1 here and I will double click on it. And as you can see, I see home folder now, which I couldn't see before. And of course, I'm going to check whether I can also create something. It will be test 02. It is created back to the server and the folder is created. So this was a second way to create a folder and a share. If you want now the share to be published within Active Directory, you have to take Active Directory users and computers and then we will add the share. To do that, we go on the domain name, we do new and you see here that we can publish a shared folder. 
we'll entitle the folder vision6d and we'll give the path to that folder which is sv1 vision 60 click ok and now you see that we have shared folder that is also published within active directory now to research uh, shared folders through active directory we will go on our client and here you see you can define network and within network you have search through active directory we select here shared folders and you can simply key in to search and here it located our shared folder with that i think that we are done you are ready you have two ways to create a shared folder i wish you all the best and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon bye